Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. Today is day 1177, I think, I don't remember, of my ketogenic journey where I'm technically a keto cheater. This week we are in Gatlinburg, Tennessee uh, on our honeymoon, not really, it's our 23rd wedding anniversary weekend and we've decided to come down here and enjoy it. So I'm going to talk to you about what I ate, show you a little highlights from yesterday, and uh, I'll be right back with the chit chat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. This is not my typical videos, but I've got like 2,000 of those, so knock yourself out. <laughs> it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style. One. First of all, a big special thank you to a lady on here going by Canvas and Vicki for your anniversary gift to me and hubby. We are very appreciative and of course we'll put it to good use here in Gatlinburg. We tend to stay away from, well we don't stay away from, we don't utilize the touristy parts of Gatlinburg. We walk through it, we enjoy it, we walk in and out of all the shops and stuff like that. That's kind of what we did last night. Um, but we don't really buy a lot or buy a lot of uh, tickets or different things like that because this stuff is crazy expensive like insanely expensive and we really kind of come for the ambiance the uh the atmosphere just enjoying the mountain scenic views right now of course being fall the beautiful leaves and you guys are right those red trees are maple trees don't know how come i didn't know this i should know this i should know this but i didn't even think about it anyway <laughs> as soon as somebody said maple yesterday it's like yeah, I yeah, 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 damn. Uh, but anyway, you know, um, it's it's a beautiful area. It really is, especially if you get off the beaten path. Speaking of which, um, here in about one hour, one of you named Nora is supposed to pick me and hubby up from the motel or hotel. It's a hotel. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's an inn. It's called an inn. Um, and we're supposed to go on some driving adventures. So apparently there's a couple places around town or, or around the area um, that you drive through and explore. So um, I think one of them's called Cades Cove. Cades Cove? I, oh, I have seen it, um, seen literature on it last time we came up here, but it was closed at the time. And I'm not sure what all we're going to do, but you guys are going to be able to see that. I want to apologize in advance. See, the camera I'm using has like zero memory. But it's great sound quality, great photo quality, great visual quality, but no memory. <laughs> so most of everything will be captured on the iPhone, which has beautiful photo and video quality, terrible, terrible audio quality. So if you come to parts of my video, you can't hear, it was probably recorded on this, or that you can't hear well, it sounds a little mumble, mumbled. It doesn't really matter how loud I talk. You just can't hear on that thing that good. It's all kind of muffled. So, or just lower sound anyway. So that's where that came from. If that's, if you have a hard time hearing certain excerpts, but it's okay. I try to keep everything pretty short and sweet, but I want to get everything in there. So I hope you guys enjoy everything. I'm going to show you some of what we ate yesterday. Um, remember, I am off the wagon at the moment for the next until Monday <laughs> so I'm taking time off from keto but you also need to remember if you're just tuning in here that I've went from 311 pounds and 30 diseases down to just one speaking of which yesterday I also forgot to take my blood pressure and fluid pill I have taken them today and the idea of being in a car for a long period of time is kind of worrisome I'm gonna try to make sure I pee before I go you know but um, I hope there, there are bathrooms along the way too I imagine other people have issues <laughs> with fluid pills and different things too. Um, but I started out at 311, 30 diseases. Now I'm down to one. Now I'm, I've lost 156 pounds, 155 pounds, and uh, I wear a size small. So for me to come off for a week, and plus I have you guys as an anchor, that will, which means Monday morning, or well probably Tuesday morning because we'll still be here Monday morning. But Tuesday morning when I do my weigh-in, I have you guys to answer to so I have an anchor in you that drags me back and not everybody has that so for I'm not recommending you jump wagon for a week if that's not what's good for your body you have to know yourself know your body I hate to sound like a broken record but some people are just tuning in 
So forgive me for those of you who've been here forever. Keto is specific to you, your body, your needs. If you got an anchor, if you can come back, if you have a good reason to bounce back right onto keto, then yeah, you know, if you go on vacation and you just want to live your best life during that time, no problem. If it's going to kick you out of ketosis and you're going to freak out at the scale, that's a problem. So <laughs> I know the scale is going to go up for me. I know. Believe me, missing that water pill yesterday. I'm definitely going up regardless of what I do, but I know these things. And as long as you know these things and you have that anchor, do what you need to do. But it's not for everybody. All right. So I'm going to be crying Monday. <laughs> you bet your butt on it. I already feel extra special heavy, if you know what I mean. But damn, them size small panties look good on me. Maybe work it out. Oh, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> In two or three different ways, probably. Uh, anniversary trip and all, plus mountains to climb. So, all right. Here's some of our day. Much love. Many prayers. There are ways to donate to the channel or basically me and hubby anniversary gifts down in the description below. And there are some great ways to contact me if you need to. There's ketodiamond.com, which tells you everything you need to know about keto. It's all free. And I will still answer your emails and questions while I'm here. Um, there's, I'm not up all the time here. So, you know, I could look downtime. I can answer some questions. Um, and there are great links below if you would like to get like a keto mojo or something that you don't need, but you might want. I will say 15% on it. Here's some of the day. <laughs> all right, so first, some accountability. Before we hit the road yesterday morning, uh, to come to Gatlinburg, we stopped by Burger King. I had a sausage, egg, and cheese croissant and hash browns. Yes, I know. But I intentionally did that. I didn't want to have to stop and pee 500 times before I got here. So, that's why. <laughs> and then, again, I'm off for the week as far as my keto journey goes. But, when we got to Gatlinburg, our room was not ready. Um, we had been goofing off for five and a half hours. So we went to Golden Corral, which is one of my favorite feasting places because of course you can feast there. Very happy that they were open. Very interesting the way they're doing things. <clears throat> Pardon me. Allergies are way worse because I'm not in ketosis. I don't feel that great because I'm not in ketosis. My fingers are swollen because I'm not in ketosis. Um, and I've ate a lot of watery, gross foods. Now, that being said, here's the rest of our day. I'm having my first ever Starbucks coffee, the vanilla. Uh, no, it is not keto friendly, but we stopped by a rest out that I'm sleepy, so this is what they have. Yeah. This is on just a pull off, so you can like pull over here, and then there's the river. Beautiful, beautiful river. Yeah, well. Oh, it's gorgeous. Definitely something I'd like to play in. They took a chair. Okay then. I'm gonna go find one somewhere I can play in it and get to everything easy. This is much steeper than it looks. And I'm wearing flip flops. I do have tennis shoes in the car. I just haven't put them on yet. <laughs> okay. I don't know that I would go much further than that, honey. Oh boy. Now if he falls in this river, I'm laughing my ass off. Just so y'all know. Huh? Kind of slick. Barefoot. You know what? I think I'm good. My adventurous nature does not want a busted ass bone. <laughs> You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Anybody can't see a trolley bag? It's a really nice town. Hilarious. This guy needle thing over there. I'd apologize for the broken windshield, but y'all know some of y'all got one too. <laughs> They're decked up for the Halloween. Imagine they do some pretty cool stuff. There's pumpkins and stuff everywhere here. And it's really, really kind of cool. They had a lot of flapjack places too. A whole lot of pancake places. They must be kind of famous for their pancakes or something. I don't know. This is the last time you guys saw a flaming fountain. Beautiful. 
all kinds of change in there. Hmm. Flaming Fountain. This little part of Gatlinburg is very English settlement kind of deal. The way it looks. All the coffee places keep drawing my nose and honestly, all this stuff in here costs way too much. I end up finding that same great fudge place. Um, Kilwins, I guess. I, I don't really know, but guys, this fudge is crazy expensive. For half a slice, which this, I took a little piece out of it. It comes a little knifey thingy. For half a slice, it's like five bucks. But, I mean, I don't get to Gall Gatlinburg often, so... Hey, if I want a piece of fudge, I'll have a piece of fudge. Me and hubby are chilling on this big old queen size bed with uh, a big large... Bigfoot got pizza. <laughs> Bigfoot got pizza. And I got hot wings. So, not perfect keto, obviously, but hot wings, okay? Um, yay! <laughs> Alright, you guys, so you guys know that one part of this weekend that I was looking forward to was having a little me time, a little pamper time, a little just chill time, or the whole weekend is five days, four nights. So, um, yeah, I couldn't decide last night. Do I do a little cow gun, take me away, a bubble bath, maybe some bath bombs? Ended up doing a bubble bath and using a lot of it. <laughs> it's the cheap stuff from my Kuwait though. But hey, it smelled good, it felt good, got a lot of bubbles out of it, very thrilled. Also, I did a hair deep conditioning last night couldn't decide which one i wanted to use ended up going with this uh nourishing hair food it was very nice you just you know leave it in your hair three to five minutes blah 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 and i did my nails when i took my nail polish my daughter's like mom are you really taking nail polish it's like dude do you know how often i get to do my nails uninterrupted and not have to worry about them getting ruined i mean i love my grandbabies wouldn't trade anything i do on a normal daily basis for anything in the world the five days off, you know, just to paint your nails. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing once in a while. A couple pill-off face masks, too, that I'm going to do tonight. One of them, anyway. <laughs> I got me. Okay, so, y'all know. Uh, some of y'all know, anyway. Bigfoot is one of my biggest um, irrational fears. It's a stupid fear. Had it since childhood. At night, in the dark, I'm pretty sure there's a Bigfoot. Yes, I know you'll smell them before you see them. But, anyway, I got me this great Gatlinburg Bigfoot cup. I don't even know if Bigfoot's a thing around here, but they have Bigfoot merchandise, so I assume some people have said somewhere that they've seen them. And it is a pretty little coffee cup. I don't really get the whole design on the inside there, but hey, in love, in love, love it. Um, and by the way, off scale victory. <laughs> These size small panties fit perfect. And every time I buy stuff like that, my brain goes, girl, that's not gonna fit you. But they do, so yay. <laughs> Y'all those coffee, coffee cups? and all this stuff but no coffee pot that's annoying if you enjoyed this video other than the fact that of course i'm no i'm not doing keto at the moment i am still keto 100 percent, except for this week well until monday so like subscribe share ring that bell this is not the typical video just what's going on right this moment in my life again there are ways to support the channel in the description below there are it's fault. yeah it's his fault it's all his fault he married me in October. It's this thing. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, there are links in the description below. Visit ketodiamond.com. Get you a full foods list of everything I know that's keto friendly that you can have that will not bother you, will not affect you, and will allow you to lose weight. <clears throat> it's all free. It's all just sitting there, written out, plain and simple. There's a beginner's guide and everything. And the front of this channel, there's a play playlist how to for, get for beginners. So if you're just starting out, Remember, this is not the typical week. Typically, <laughs> meat, cheese, eggs, green, leafy vegetables, and some extra fats and stuff. But other than that, much love, many prayers. See y'all later. Bye, y'all. Well, probably sometime tonight. <laughs>